Hello, this is Zach Kielik with vcacteam.info with a tutorial on installing VCAC 5.1. Here, I have already logged into my Windows 2008 box as the service account I plan on using. This account is also a local admin on the box. We're going to start by accessing our installation zip and going into setups and copying the DCAC manager setup out to the desktop. From there, we want to make sure to run it as administrator. So right click and choose run it as administrator. We'll press next. We'll accept the terms and the license agreement. From there, your account team should have supplied you with a VCAC license. We'll go ahead and browse for that now. Mine happens to be on the desktop and it should be named something like DCAC license. We'll open that and press next. We'll want to make sure that because this is our first installation, we want to install the database. And we can change the location of the install files if we like by pressing browse. We'll go ahead and press next. From there, we want to choose the default website and HTTP and press next. Now if you're using a shared instance of SQL Server, you go ahead and in this field put in your fully qualified domain name to the SQL Server database instance. Since I'm using SQL Server Express on this machine, uh, I can just leave it as localhost and use the Windows authentication. From there, we'll leave all these settings the same. You have the ability though to change the database name if you like. Make sure that the user that you're logged in as at the moment, uh, your service account in theory, has the ability to access the database server as well as create databases and hit test connection. You should get a success. From there, we'll go ahead and choose the file structure for the Asman authentication store. We'll leave it for this time as the XML based store. In this screen, we're able to configure our outbound email settings. If your organization uses anonymous SMTP authentication, go ahead and leave that top box ticked. If not, go ahead and untick it and allow you to enter any username and password. For our purposes here, for this demonstration, we'll go ahead and leave it checked. We'll fill in the fully qualified domain name and this is the fully qualified domain name of the VCAC server. The SMTP server will go into here. And then the from address as a default email address. On the next screen, we'll configure our VCAC service. This service will allow us to provision and manage the VCAC environment. We'll put in the service account, username, and password that we've created. And press next. On this next page here, we'll be setting up the model manager. And the username and password for the model manager is very important to remember because it will be asked later on when installing the distributed execution managers, also known as DEMS, as well as setting up the design manager. We'll go ahead and put in the fully qualified domain name of the VCAC server. And press next. From there, it's going to ask us to configure the VCAC web portal. So once again, we'll use that service account information and we'll enter that here. And press next. Now, when we hit install, it'll take roughly 10 minutes. So just go ahead and keep an eye on it for the time being. You have now successfully installed VCAC 5.1. You can go ahead and press finish. From here, you'll move on to installing the distributed execution managers, also known as DEMS. Thank you for watching, and make sure to check back on vcacteam.info regularly for new articles and videos.